Hey guys, what's up? It's Strategy Gaming back, and today we are playing Morris Permsey 1914. And I just want to apologize um, for lack of uploading on this channel. Um, I have put up some stuff, uh, but I feel like with Supremacy 1914, there's like a curse on the game where you just can't upload. Like, it's really weird. Um, with me, I just, I'm busy and, you know, I miss an upload and it's, it's, it sucks. And I think that's how it is with everyone who does Supremacy 1914 videos. Um, if you look at any, like, if you look up Supremacy 1914 on YouTube, uh, you can see YouTubers just, it's just tips and tricks that, like, literally blow up. And that was my first video, and that got three and a half thousand views to this day. That was three years ago, but three and a half thousand views is a lot to me. Um, even if it's over the course of three years, that's a lot to me. And it motivates me, um, pretty much to make YouTube videos, because if I could get 150 views on this video that would be that'd be crazy to me and it would it would just make me feel like I need to keep uploading so you guys can be entertained and quite frankly I don't care about all subscribers um I mean I do care a little bit and I feel like with views come subscribers and so I'm not going to really care about subscriber counts until maybe I hit like 50 or 20 or like probably 20 uh, I know I'm at 10 now, but those are inactive. Uh, I already know it. And um, if this video even got 20 views in two days, I'd be happy. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be really happy. I'd just feel accomplished. And so, for the goal for this video, um, we're gonna just gonna re go over everything um, because in my first video it was terrible. Um, I don't even know how people liked it. Um, I got like 15 likes on it. Uh, and hopefully this one will do a little better um, because I, I'm just going to do it a lot faster and quicker and and then I'm going to just talk about some other stuff so I'm just going to jump in right into it and so the first thing we get is the Daily European it just shows the index of power which is the kind of like what is the best nation I guess that's um, going on and so it also it, the uh, points need is a thousand and so technically Egypt is winning the game right now because they have the most territory and then it just talks about game rules and then the rewards and it's really just gold mark and here you can just write whatever you want uh, you know and then send it or you can put an image and click it anonymous it really doesn't matter that was me just seeing if anyone wanted to alliance, have an alliance with me um, so I could help, you know, maybe win the game for me. And then it's just, you know, it goes over just what's going on. And then you can just filter it out um, with stuff like enemies and s such. And so probably when I start my Let's Plays, I'll just click Politics. And then just scroll down and just talk about what's happening. And uh, also, if you go like this, let me just go to Day 1. So this is the map, completely unchanged, and you can see where, actually, you can see where, uh, no, you cannot, my bad. So this, this will so show um, just the map, and then overall, you can see where, uh, like, there's battles, so the red, uh, the little bit of um, fire that's coming up, you can see where it's, what's happening and then you can also see uh, what countries are being attacked and invaded and so it, it kinda just it's a really nice way to just show what's going on over the past few days and that's pretty much that diplomacy is really easily just it's just uh, just all the nations and say uh, I wanted to declare war I just go here and I click declare war on uh, Central USA but they're my allies so I won't and so that's pretty simple. You can write messages, um, do trade, so I can trade. Um, maybe armies. Uh, give me. So like yeah, so I could ask for uh, their eighth infantry division for maybe, you know, thirty thousand grain. I even though I don't have it, and I could ask. So it's it's it's, it's really simple. Anyone can do it, and you can also choose anonymous here. And I like how it's got the uh, typewriter thing going on 
I think that's a typewriter. I'm pretty sure that is the typewriter. And then the res resources tab, I always do this. So like when you first come in, it'll be like this pretty much. Like uh, it'll be like that. Um, <clears throat> it'll well, you know, I'll do it better. It'll be like this and this. And so you'll come on and you'll be like, well, that's not right. And then you can go here. What I like to do is I just like to balance it out. And here, especially with this, I like to balance it out. Even though iron ore is more useful than lumber, I usually just balance it out. And here, I just balance it out. Yeah, so that's, then you can balance it. It's really easily, real, really easy. And it, you can just um, get some idea of what's going on with your resources. Stock market, really simple. Um, you can just find stuff you want to buy and sell. And it's really nice, uh, really simple. Um, I need oil anyway, so I'll go to oil. And let's see, let's find a good deal. So here, this is a terrible deal. I would never want us to use that deal. So that's saying for every ton of oil, it's 7.8 euros. Or just, it's, and it, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I mean, it's just the currency of the game. That's quite a lot, and it adds up. And so a good one for me would probably be this one because I need a lot and for 26,000 that's really 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 cheap and it's a great deal and so I will purchase that and then I get it right there and that's just simple and if you want to sell it uh, you can just go here uh, I have a shit ton of yeah so add sell offer uh, give me uh, that I'll do 3,000 at uh, let's go oh, that's 300 Three thousand. I'll go at uh, four point five. Undercut the market, and there you go. And so right there, um, people can buy that. I think. Am I correct? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, let me just. I know it's a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So either way, you know, it's just. You go here, you add a sell, a buy offer. That I think I hit sell. You want to hit buy, three thousand four point five, and then right here it should be around here. Oh wait, no, I had it right the first time. My bad. I knew I had it right the first time. So you want to add a sell offer, and then that you can sell it, and it makes you money. But I have plenty of money, and when I take uh, the capital of Northern Canada, I'll even have more. And so we'll go on to the next tab, coalitions. And this is quite a new thing. Um, well, it's new since my last video. And this is just, um, I would say, a tool for role playing, really, um, because you can create a coalition and have your friends join and be the United Nations in air quotes and try to protect the world in air, other air quotes. And you know, it's it's a really honestly, I think it's really fun. I think it's a cool addition. And when you join it, you have this little flag next to your name right there. That's the UN symbol, apparently. And which is, I don't even know if that's the right UN symbol. It's not. It, it's not. Um, uh, so yeah, you can just, and then uh, you can tell which countries are in it. Egypt and Italy. And then that one is Germany, Russia, and Greenland uh, for the United Nations. And that's pretty much all that has to do. And with uh, espionage. This will be a little more in depth, and let me just uh, go over it. Right. So, here's your basic thing right here. So these are the four spies you can employ. The only one you can put in your own town, like your home cities, are counter espionage, and you can put that in. Um, for example, if you were building a railgun, and you knew your enemies knew that you were building a railgun, you could say it was building Quebec. I could go into Quebec, and I go like that. I hit OK, and then it's protected. So now I don't have to worry about my Quebec getting destroyed, or my uh, railguns in Quebec getting destroyed. And on the other hand, if you knew that uh, in Quebec that there were, um, or let's say uh, Scranton, uh, if you knew Michael Scott uh, was building railgun, um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone would even get that joke, but uh, if he knew that they were building a railgun there, you would put in uh, espionage or military spies, uh, military espionage spies, uh, military sabotage spies. My bad. And you would put that in, and hopefully they can do a wide range of things. They can uh, damage upgrades, reveal armies, um, 
destroy factories, which is damage upgrades, uh, and halt production, or completely stop it. And they're really helpful, and that's uh, where you would use that. Uh, a um, Let's just go to S, uh, economic. So economic espionage spy would be another instance where I knew, okay, you know, a better would be Egypt since I did this video already and I didn't like it how it turned out. So in Egypt, um, you can also use like uh, the gold marks upgrades. And I just wanted to show what country information did. And I don't really use gold mark really. I don't really use it like this. And so um, you can use just go uh, gold mark to do this type of stuff. And really, it's pretty cheaty. Uh, it's pretty unfair. Um, but this is what it does. It'll show you, um, yeah, and here I was also trying to show you guys what it did, but it failed and I didn't like the video. And you can tell it's uh, gold mark because it is uh, the little gold mark thingy. And so <clears throat> here, uh, this is everything that's about the country, everything I know. And this is actually Bosnian. Uh, so this guy who owns it is Bosnian, and that's just messages he sent to Italy, that Egypt sent to Italy about um, troop movements. And, I mean, I did translate it, and it was kind of a pain in the ass, but, I mean, it just says, uh, move troops to something or switch troops somewhere. And uh, I found that it was actually kind of cool. And then it just shows where their trades are at. So they, I know um, their share map with uh, Italy, but I can also tell that it's there because of their political relations, and it's right there. And I can also tell who they're at war with. And it's not really helpful because I already know who they're at war with. But here is where I think the real key is. So... Um, let's find. So here they have hardly any lumber. So I go into their lumber provenance and I actually, um, so I have no spies. Let's just pretend I have no spies here. And, um, so then I go here and I just hit the down arrow and send a send a spy there. And then their lumber will be uh, destroyed. And then when they're, they say they have zero lumber, their morale will go down and it's perfect, perfect for me. And a way to get money actually is uh, putting economic sabotage spies in the capital of a city and you can get money that way and spies can also be caught and then it can tell you where they're from and then that can lead to war and it's not the best idea to do that type of stuff just because like you know they get caught you're kind of fucked and you're kind of like you know you, they already know your enemies your country will your enemy country will know that your enemies with them which is not good um, I'm not a fan of getting caught and then for that's pretty much espionage uh spies and yeah and then uh intelligence my bad uh pretty much it'll tell you this pretty much um over a few days it'll tell you like um uh maybe so like say i put an intelligence spy in uh um new york you can see here that it actually revealed enemies for me without paying gold mark because right here you can see that there's no gold mark there but here there there was there's uh, there's no gold mark, but there, there it is. Wow, I'm starting all over the place. And so with that, it's uh, pretty useful, and it only costs 20,000 euros. And so that's really helpful. And then with uh, support our troops, it's just a little jackpot type thing. Um, with every time you spin, it increases to um, levels, and then you, the prizes increase, which is really, really nice. Um, and then uh, this is just uh, screenshots. And then alliance, uh, that's just, um, it's just, you know, uh, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, if I go here, it just it's just alliances. It's pretty much coalitions, but on a larger scale. Um, that's pretty much what it is. And that's it's pretty simple to figure out. And then, um, yeah, for buildings, if you when you first start in, I probably should have started this first, but I'll start with the last. You should go in and build, um, shit, I don't have any to build, but, um, what you're going to want to do is go into each city right here. Not, like, don't do it like this, and I'll show you what I mean later, but there's these recruiting offices, and if you go here, there will be none of these. So when you first start, there will be no recruiting offices, and when you go in, you just want to find recruiting offices down on this selector and then build it. So like, for instance, say this was recruiting office, I would hit select, I would select it right there, and it would build it for me, 
and then I would have recruit and it only takes five seconds so um, you can just do it all the way down and don't have to worry and then to build troops it's the same purpose just hit the uh, same principle uh, just hit the uh, helmet icon with the gear and then you can build troops and then uh, to get these to unlock these four units uh, you must build level three factories which come on day seven of the game which in my opinion is too late in the game and I think they should change it uh, sooner, but that's that's just my opinion. And then settings are all right here. If you want to, you know, search providences, uh, full screen it, or uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, disable fog of war, which is just this. So you can see it's just where my troops can see. Uh, display resources. I always have that on just to, you know, make it uh, so I can know where the resources are. Uh, display armies. Boom. These are cool, I actually. I kind of like these. Uh, I think it's cool. I like the pins, but I don't know. And then display provenance's names, which is, I think, useless. Morale. And then uh, display uh, icon, uh, flags. So I think... Okay, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, so I think that's what it does, right? Okay, I don't know what that does, to be fair. Oh, so there you go. So it just does that. Yeah, there you go. And it's really simple, and it's not hard. This game's not hard to learn. Um, there, uh, I think on day day four, you get the build the building of railroads. I believe. If I can, I'm pretty sure you do. I'm almost positive you get to build railroads on day four. Or maybe it might be day five. Oh no, um, day day five you get to build them. Day five. And day day eight, you get to build factories on, which will produce your. Um, they will produce your uh, artillery, rail guns, and tanks, and they also boost uh, resource production, and that's also what highways do or uh, re, uh, harbors, and I think railways might yeah, and railways do too. So you can if you're low on a little bit of resources, you can build a harbor like I do. I'm building a harbor in Quebec, but I'm not low on iron as you can see. So if I have the gas provenance, um, which I, or oil I mean, I don't have one right now. But if I had one, I could build one right there, and I would actually, it would actually help me a lot. Um, so that's pretty much that uh, for buildings. Um, I'm going to go over like each individual troop later. Um, all I have right now is a piece of artillery, and I have that just because this is a new account. What have I done? Oh no. That's just a new account, so I have artillery. And so this is part two of my strategy guide. Um, I will actually be doing a Let's Play on this map right here. And you can expect a new video in a few days, hopefully. Uh, probably once I get control of all of uh, Northern Canada. And so when I have that done, I will uh, make another video and just uh, keep going from there. Anyways, guys, this has been Supremacy. Oh, Jesus, Supremacy. This has been Strategy Gaming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. See ya.